Hey, good morning from a super sick Eric. It is finally officially hit me here in Prague. Uh, my body is totally rejected all this cold weather with the cold and the rain and uh, walking in the cold rain and uh, not eating properly. Just my body's starting to shut down. But, um, you know, work goes on, so I guess. Um, so I'm at a cafe here at the uh, main train station in Prague. Uh, I am on my way to Budapest. It's a direct train, six hours and 41 minutes. Uh, I actually missed the first train. I wanted to take an earlier train, but uh, I overslept. I was just drained. My body is worn out. So um, I'm not sure how long I'm going to be in Budapest. Uh, I usually spend three to four days in Budapest whenever I go. I love the city. Uh, we'll see how it goes. So yeah, see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, I'm on the train from Prague to Budapest. We're actually about to take off here in a second. And uh, I just wanted to say how sad I really am that I didn't really get to show you guys uh, Prague. I mean, because it's been raining for four days straight. I actually was only going to be here two days, but kept extended, kept extended, trying to get some content. But unfortunately, that's the way it is in uh, October, early October in uh, this part of the world. So uh, yeah, hopefully uh, Budapest is a lot more sunny and shiny. Uh, and it's supposed to be a really beautiful weekend, so uh, hopefully I'm going to be able to get you guys a better look at Budapest than I did in Prague. So uh, I'll see you guys later. Okay, so I wanted you guys to see this. It's like eight o'clock at night, and this is the train. Over here. And I'm uh, traveling like somewhere in Slovakia, so this feels like the beginning of a fucking scary movie. <laughs> Welcome to Budapest, one of Europe's most beautiful cities. <laughs> is a rat bite right there yeah so these are what rat bite bites look like here uh, here's some here right there uh, let me switch to the other R uh, you got here and all over there man let me see in the camera right there Oh, go ahead, brother. Yeah. Right there. And then she got, I don't know if you can see it on the deck. Oh, right there on the deck. So that's how my day started with rat bites in my bed. Well, actually by night, I guess it was around uh, two or three o'clock in the morning. I started realizing I was being bit by something, but I couldn't see it because I was half asleep and it was kind of dark. Uh, but I woke up this morning and found that what I just what I showed you guys in the video was the uh, the small little rat bite, which are different than bed bugs. Um, well, yeah, they're just different. They're rat bites, um, and a lot of people don't actually know what they are. Uh, but the bite lasts fucking forever. It's like uh, imagine getting getting uh, bit by a mosquito. It's going to inch an inch, but it lasts like three days straight. Um, and I, I won't name the hostel uh, because I've stayed with them five six times before. It's always been clean, it's always been good. It's still a clean hostel. It's just like rat bites or something you can't really do much about in a building so old that has, yeah, probably house rats in it. There's nothing they can do. So, I mean, they uh, ref obviously refunded my money. Uh, they put me in a, like a little private kind of, little private room. 
Uh, I was on the fence about staying, but I uh, decided to go ahead and stay. But uh, we'll see. That's part of the backpack of life. Uh, and it's something you're going to have to deal with. One of the best things that they've done in Budapest is repurpose their architecture. These buildings are absolutely stunning. The first one you saw was the Opera House. The second one you saw was one of the old municipal government buildings that's being converted into a hotel. So this is where you're going to find your higher end brands, your Gucci, your Max Maras, your Louis Vuitton, your Versace, uh, right down here near the uh, main opera house. Even the streets behind it are where a lot of uh, really, really, really wealthy Hungarian people live. Hey, one of the things that always really stood out to me when I lived here was how many Thai restaurants and Thai massage places there are. They're everywhere in Budapest. See, I'm nursing a wicked head cold. Um, my body's really just kind of starting to shut down from all this cold weather, and people all around are sick, also. So, heading over to the uh, Central Market uh, to grab some fruits and vegetables. I actually cooked something healthy tonight. A lot of people don't like tourist menus, but I think tourist menus are probably where uh, Budapest really stands out when it comes to value. A lot of our tourist menus actually are about 20-25% uh, cheaper than buy a la carte. So it's really, really good to take a look at the tourist menus in Budapest. There are really two levels to this beautiful market. This very, this uh, second level, this top level, is where you're gonna find a bunch of restaurants and clothing. Like all this over here, that's all clothes. And right there are a bunch of fast food restaurants. And then like this restaurant, which is actually really, really good. But down here, you're gonna find all the produce, meats, cheeses, honey, stuff like that.
So something pretty much uh, all expats know about Budapest is that you really can't find uh, like sauces and mixes that you would get back home. But just like any other major city in the world, you have to go to the Asian market. And luckily it's right next to Central Market. Right here. I see it. I love this place from sauces and teas to mixes and crepes. It has everything that you're going to need, especially for us expats. Freeze dried stuff, of course. But then you come here and add all your sauces, all your spices. Your Indian spices, Indian Chinese, Thai, Singaporean, Taiwan, everything. And you'll find a little bit of everything. Even brands that we have in Thailand for our coconut milks, for our curries. Here are gonna be your spices. This is probably one of the most extensive spice collections anywhere I've seen, and as far as it goes. Like, honestly, if, if it's not here, it probably doesn't exist. This place has a deep spice collection. I ended up only getting spices, but $15 for 12 spices, that's not bad. Hey guys, I am back at the hostel. Uh, as you guys can see, the rain was showing up and I'm already sick and cold and just your head tired. So um, yeah, I wanted to show you guys first uh, before I got into closing this out, what I actually bought today. So here we are, the spices. It ended up being, let's see, three, six, nine, uh, 12. 12 and it came up to 14 US dollars. So like a dollar 10 each. So I ended up getting this Cayenne, which is Cajun. Uh, Madras Curry Mile, this Old Manhattan, uh, which is really like a steak seasoning. It's gonna be another Madras Curry, it's not that hot. This is a porter, Porterhouse Steak Sauce, not Steak Sauce, Steak Seasoning, uh, Bruschetta Seasoning, and I think I got another one. Uh, 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 Gringo Steak, Chimichurri, that I get, oh, just out of curiosity what this is. I think it's like a, a dry rub. Then you got uh, Aglio Olio, which is my favorite pasta, and pepperoncini, the spicy version. Really good. Alright, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna spend the day just kind of uh, catching up, getting relaxed. It's been really tough, especially after uh, getting sick and going through all that. And then everything with these stupid bug bite, like you can see they're just getting worse. They're just worse. Uh, and then this side is even worse. Just ugly. Oh, he's from California. So what's up? Hey, how you doing? Yeah, so I'm gonna sit here and nurse these uh, bug wounds apparently, and then try to get rid of this congestion. Uh, got my uh, emergency, emergency, and then uh, yeah, just kind of relax. This is about 5 p.m. now. Uh, might relax and take a nap and see what happens. I want to apologize to you guys. I don't have far more energetic and fun content right now, but. The weather's been shit and I'm starting to get sick. So uh, I'm going to take a look and see if I can fly somewhere a little warmer and uh, we can go from there. But all right, again, thank you so much for watching, subscribing, and commenting. And let me know what you guys think of this video. I'll catch you later.